today we're going to be making a Lucky 7 splash of chain in the color rainbow. So to start off this rig, we have an F crimp. F crimp meant for 250 pound line. That's what we're using here. Excuse that. Just going to slip it on real easy. Then we have the white chafe. So I just wanted to get that on so I wouldn't drop it here. So that's what it's going to look like from the start. And this is to protect the line from any you know, teeth, metal, what have you. Alright, there we go. And now over here we have our corkscrew swivel. It's uh, 350 pound, I believe. I'm just going to slip it on over the line. Alright, now we're going to close up our crimp, sticking the line back in the other side. And I'll show you how we'll finish that off. Just as a uh, last line of defense here, we're going to melt the end of the line. Give it a few little taps. And that creates a sort of mushroom effect on the line. And you'll see what that does. You push our line into the crimp, and then pull it so the chafe touches each side of the bottom side of the crimp, and there we go. That's completed. All we have to do is crush it now. Bring it over to the bench crimper. And again here, we have this ready to go. I did it before. We have the G die in there for this F. The only reason we would match it up is if it was a pin rig, but we're not talking about that today, are we? So we're just going to line up the crimp, and I'll let you look at it. That's pretty much ready to go. There's enough not enough, rather. Each side of the crimp is sticking out of the actual crimper itself to an even distance. Then we're going to crush it. And that's pretty much what we're looking for, those two sides there. You can see them sticking out like the thickness of a dime. So, Crystal, you, you did that burn on the mono. Why did you do that burning, and what was the purpose of that? Right, so the burn on the mono here... If you could see that mushroom cap we made, it's almost sitting over or on top, rather, in the crimp. And, like I said before, the last line of defense, what happens is when the fish is pulling, 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 we, we don't really fear that this crimp, especially one that's effectively done, would pull out. But in those cases, which we do run into when we're fishing of the one in a hundred happening, that's going to give you a little last you know, grab. So it's like an extra precaution. Exactly. It's just, if you can take the precautions, it obviously doesn't cost you anything more, why not do it? Exactly. Easy enough. All right. Next, we're over on our measurements here. What we're going to do is start putting the actual rig together. So we have our corkscrew already put on. We're going to top it off with a small shell squid. Again, the color we're using today is rainbow. And I think we're going to use the glow bead to stick in the top here. This squid came with this in it, but with this rig we like to use that bead, so we'll see if we can get that done. Just going to slip it over the line. And then bring it all the way down here, so that's going to be the separation between the first bait and our actual hardware here. I would normally load it up, but I want to show really how this rig's put together in a slower motion. So again, the bead for the inside of the squid is on there. And now, I'm just going to open it up to the best of our ability. And then we're going to stick the line through. So if you see it go through the bottom, and we came right through the top of it, mm -hmm. still holding the tentacles, so to say, of the squid. So you don't want that getting caught up on the line. Pull it right over that bead. See, I, may, I think I'm going to make some adjustments to this because that's a little in there. All right, so now you can see we made our adjustments and our corkscrew was coming right to the end of this squid here but still being hidden. It's perfect. It's exactly what we want. So we're going to put them in our little holster there. No technical terms. Now we're going to start the birds. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to grab one of our small stopper crimps. And we're going to take a blue bead. It doesn't have to be blue, I'm just choosing it because it's matching the back of our bird. So we got our crimp, got our bead. 
Now we're going to pull it down to the measurements that we use. And just give it a quick squeeze. This isn't going to be under any load of pressure. It's just going to be holding the bird, so we don't need anything too crazy. Now we're going to go up to the top of the line, take one of our rainbow birds, going to insert from the back. Sometimes you got to spin it a little bit to get it on. Yep, yeah, there, there you go. Just a little manipulation sometimes, that's all it takes. Going to pull it down to our mark. That's where the first bird's going to sit. Now the idea of this is we're going to repeat this seven more times. Well, six more times at this point. But we'll do the second one to get another idea of it. So every time we put a bait on, we move the measurement up the chain. That was a bad way of describing it, but what that means is we're not going to use a squid anymore. We're going to use the bird and put it in our holster and then go to our measurement. So go to the end of the line. Take our stop crimp and our bead. Again, right there, as last time, just repeating the process. Pull it down. Get to our mark. A little squeeze. And they got bird number two going on. That's right. And again, for the auto manipulation, there it goes. A little spin. <laughs> That's right. Bird number two is now on the bait. And you can see the chain starting to form now. So we're starting to get the whole thing coming together. I'm going to keep on keeping on with this. Here we go, the third bird. Same thing, different bird. Here we go. Quick squeeze. Alright, so now we have all seven birds on our chain ready to go. And all we have to do now is just cut the mono and put some chafe gear with a loop on the end so you can hook up your snap swivel to it. Pick up the chain. I'll show you in a second because if I drop it without this crimp on, it's game over. There it goes that nice thing. go, F crimp, white chair, thank you, appreciate that. Now there's really no crazy specific length with this, I'll get the line out of my mouth, you know, just, yeah, there you go, almost two finger digits. It's not religion, it's just, you know, whatever works for that particular time. Start the lines of the chafe gear. Again, just like the other time, but without attaching something. Bring it back through the crimp. And do our burn for that mushroom. Just like before, we burnt the end. We have that little mushroom cap, the last line of defense. We're going to seal the deal here. Push it up to the crimp. Pull your loop. Put it back into the G die. There we go, now she's sealed. Again, the sides of those crimps, very important. You know it's done right. And I'll pick this guy up. But this is what I want to do at the end, just to make sure everything's done right. Chains laid out, full seven birds. There's all beads, stop crimps intact, corkscrew on the end, and loop done. All right, so to finish off the end of this rig, Onto our corkscrew, we have the business end of things. It's our stinger. All this is, it's a shell squid, this particular one anyway. You get some beads for separation. Got your weight and your float inside the head. And now all we're going to do, and the reason why we use these corkscrews, pretty cool, we can show you. Alright, so now we're going to take this stinger and 
hook it onto our corkscrew here. And it's real simple and easy. It's If the tuner on a particular color, this swivel makes it easy to change in and out. See how quick I put that on? It's more so effective rather than speed. Speed is not always important. But to get on that bite, sometimes seconds do matter, and this thing definitely helps. No doubt about that. Alright guys, so here we go. Bagged up the Lucky 7's chain in rainbow. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Again, I'm Chris from Pelagic. Subscribe to this channel, please. Just, again, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button. Just, you gotta know, whatever's going on, we're gonna let you know, okay? And please check out my page as well. Coastal Memories on YouTube and Coastal Memories Fishing on Instagram. Thank you, have a good one.